Hey everyone, Shemim here and welcome back to another episode of our AEW Universe Mode. We are back with AEW's Dark and we've got a cracking main event tonight as Cody goes one-on-one -on -one against Kenny Omega for a chance to fight in the semi-finals of the TNT Championship Tournament. And here we go, then starting tonight's action off with Terry King going one on one against Miro. Miro has uh, lost both of these matches so far in this universe mode. However, let's uh, remember that one of those matches was one on one against John Moxley, and the other one was the Elimination Chamber. So we're not going to get too harsh on him. But tonight is his chance to showcase what he can so, do. I'm not sure. Who's spoken to you? Sorry, my uh, Amazon Echo device decided to get involved there for a second. Yeah, Miro tonight has a chance to show what he can do against Terry King, a man who does actually have a victory uh, as part of this universe mode, of course, alongside Ron Johnson as they defeated um, the team of Dynasty. Bruce said they're looking for the big kick. Terry King able to avoid it. Big knee in the gut. Bruce, uh, big clothesline taking Terry King down. Oh, no, I used his slave name there for a second, didn't I? I used his slave name. Terry King back in the ring. So, yeah, I think uh, Miro would be happy to get his first win here if he can pull it out. Uh, he's currently on minus two in this universe mode. He'll want to get himself up into the plus because he will definitely believe that he is someone who can fight in the future for championships here in AEW. Nice boot there, right in the gut by Miro. Slamming the arm of Terry King into the mat before bringing him back up to his feet, but Terry rolling Miro through. And a clubbing blow right across the back now of Miro. And a nice neck breaker. Miro's starting to feel it now. Brings Terry King back up to his feet. And there's that massive kick right to the face. That could be all she wrote. Completely knocking Terry King out. Great win here for Miro. That puts Terry King onto minus one. And it moves Miro up to minus one. It's a real odd way to think about it. We never would have thought those two would be uh, in such different positions. But they currently are. And a, a great win for Miro. He'll be hoping to move forward now with this. This will be the beginning of his uh, proper run in AEW. To say he had a very difficult start with those matches against Mox. And then of course being thrown straight into the Elimination Chamber at Blood and Guts. Good chance for him here tonight and a good victory as well. His first win in an AEW ring. And here we go, Lance Archer goes one-on-one -on -one against Cole Quinn, and Lance Archer is not in a good mood. Of course, he lost a one-on-one -on -one match on Dynamite last week against uh, Brody Lee, a match that would have put him through to the semi-finals of the TNT Championship Tournament, and it's also a match that's put him down to zero in the rankings. He's not happy with that. He wants to ensure that he moves forward, not backwards. And uh, this is the sort of match you'll want to win, and win easily as well. Cole Quinn making his debut in this universe mode. Of course, a guy that's actually on the game. Nice boot right in the spine there by Lance Archer, bringing Cole back up to his feet. Cole fighting back with a stiff right hand. 
Archer now. Oh, nice. Full Nelson slam on the outside. What do you think of the new arenas, by the way? I got a couple of new arenas this week. There's a real resurgence in 2K19 over the last few weeks, which is fantastic. And um, we should have a brand new Cody Rhodes and Lance Archer pretty soon as well that the great core makers like the Frack are making. Uh, he is absolutely fantastic and really uh, giving us some incredible stuff to work with in this universe mode. As Archer now has Colquim throttled and slams him back of the head into the mat. But Colquim back up with the jawbreaker. Now into the neck breaker on Lance Archer. Popping his neck back into place. Archer, those stiff forearm, taking Quinn up. Onto the shoulders, dropping him neck first across that top rope. Nice jawbreaker. Quinn now brings Archer back up to his feet. And oh, right on the back of the leg. Cole Quinn doing really well here against Lance Archer. That loss to Brody Lee's really rocked Archer, I think. Archer now taking Cole Quinn up onto the top. Nice knee right across the chest of Quinn. A boot right in the arm as well. And now Archer dead lift up. Oh, slamming Quinn. Back of the head into the mat. There's the pin. One, two. No, only a two count. Cole Quinn, the glutton for punishment here, decides to continue on. I think he's going to live to regret that one, to be honest. Archer now sending Quinn into the corner once again. Spinning him round. But Quinn now, ooh, spiked DDT. Lovely. Well done, Quinn. Brings Archer back up into a neck breaker. Archer, don't be the man that loses to Cole Quinn here, please. Archer, don't be this guy. Don't be the guy that loses to Cole Quinn, Archer. Don't let it happen. Jake, do your job. Jake! Thank you. We can't be affording this to happen. Quinn now still working over. Archer dropping the knee inside the arm. Now dumping Archer over the top. And springs him back in. Why is Archer doing? He's really struggling here against Cole Quinn tonight. Should be being a lot more dominant than this. There he is. Throwing him over the shoulder. Archer stalking Quinn. Quinn drops to the outside. Oh, gets a forearm in the face. Roberts liked that. He liked that a lot. Archer now dropping to the outside. To join Cole Quinn. And for the strong right hand. Quinn caught him with a boot in the gut. Now into a neck breaker again. Come on game. This should be an easy win here for Archer. What is this game on? Quinn now throwing Archer back into the ring. Archer they're fighting his way back up onto his feet. Into the corner, but wow, Quinn fights back and slams Archer face first into the mat. Both guys back up on their feet again. Cole Quinn is doing far too good here. It's worrying me. Quinn, you're a jobber. Accept it. Don't be that guy. Don't be the next Ron Johnson. Thank you. Big boot in the gut there by Archer. An uppercut as well. Archer spinning Cole Quinn round. Yeah. 
slammed into the top turnbuckle pad. Archer once again bring Quinn back up to his feet now into the corner. What is the plan here by Archer? Is he looking potentially to try and finish Cole Quinn off here? Looks like he might be. Hoist him up. We've seen this before. Oh, thank you, Archer. Boom. Slams him down. Archer now drops into the pin in a match that was much more difficult than it needed to be. But Lance Archer does eventually get the win. Cole Quinn drops down. Archer goes back into the pluses now. Hey, Archer made that match a lot more difficult than it needed to be. A lot more difficult. But he did get the win eventually. That's the main thing. He suffered a bit, didn't he, against Brody Lee on Dynamite. But now Lance Archer, just like Miro in the first match, looking to turn his luck around. Right. I'm, I'm very impressed by Cole Quinn, to be honest. He really did show a lot of ability here tonight. And we'll have to make sure that he gets punished for that as soon as possible. <laughs> it's harsh, but it has to happen. I mean, as soon as these jobbers start to lose a couple of matches in a row, that's when, obviously, they start to get the... Um, what is it? The slow period, or whatever it's called. or I forgot what it is now. Cold streak? Is that the one? I don't know, something like that. It's a good win, though, for Lance Archer. And it's a great win for humanity. Right, let's move on. We're going to see the tag team champions in action. Here we go then, our tag team champions. Best friends are in action in a six-man elimination tag, of course, alongside the ever-vescent, ever-charismatic, ever-vigilant Orange Cassidy, who has so far had one match and lost. So he'll be hoping that he can get a win here. Uh, they're facing off against El Jobas. Uh, of course, El Bocho, El Mago, and El Gilberto. So this should be an interesting one. Uh, of course, you've got El Bocho in the green, who's currently grounded. El Mago in the black, and you have El Gilberto in the red. Of course, it's six-man elimination tag as well, so all three members of the team do need to be pinned to be eliminated from the match. And at the moment... Everyone's eliminated themselves from the ring. We're going outside, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, at the moment, currently, we have got Trent sat in the rankings on plus two. Uh, Chucky T is sat also in a plus on the rankings at a plus two. And like I said, Orange Cassidy currently sat at a minus one in the rankings. A pretty interesting show so far and I think this is going to be another one of those matches of course don't forget our main event tonight we have Cody going one-on-one -on -one against Kenny Omega for a chance to face off against Brody Lee in the semi-finals of the TNT Championship Tournament Omega flattening the referee to break that pinfall opportunity Chuck Taylor now taking Omega up into a pile driver and best friends looking so good here. Of course, they will want a victory here as well to ensure they stay at the top of the rankings. They're currently on plus two alongside the Lucha Brothers as well as Cody and Sean Spears is also on plus two. But as I said the other day, we're going to have some very interesting matches on Fight for the Fallen, which is going to really develop the tag team division, I think, around. And we are going to see some uh, some big changes, I think. Well, essentially, we're going to have two Fatal 4-Way tag team matches. As there's the uh, the awful waffle by Chuck Taylor. 
and El Bocho managed to break it up. Chuck now taking El Bocho up on the shoulder and drops him with a Rikishi driver. Wow. Chucky T has just turned into the most dominant force in wrestling. Chucky pins someone, man. You take them. Look at that. They've got a nice little C shape of Mexicans going there. Why is no one going for a finish? Why is no one going for a pin? Maybe they're sending a message to the rest of the tag team division. I don't know, to be honest. But, yeah, we're going to see quite a few of the other tag teams in action um, at uh, Fight for the Fallen. We're going to see... Right, we've got two fatal four-way... Well, two four-way elimination tag team matches. On the pre-show, we're going to see Cody and Spears versus the Revolt versus the Gun Club versus Proud and Powerful. On the May card, we're going to have uh, the Butch and the Blade versus the Bucks versus the Hybrid 2 versus Private Party. And we're also going to have, based off of Dynamite last week, uh, we're going to have Dynasty, uh, MJF, EC3 and Wardlow going up against Jurassic Express, Marco Stunt, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, of course. So that should be an interesting one as well. So lots of opportunity for the tag team division to completely turn upside down at Fight for the Fallen and for two teams to really push themselves forward and fight. Um, well, they'll become the two teams to fight for the number one contention for the tag team titles, I would imagine, because they'll be very high up on the rankings. It's going to be a very interesting card fight for the ball, I think. I'm going to change one of the matches, though, because I realised one of the matches we only did recently. So I need to change that one. As, uh, oh, Orange Cassidy, the backbreaker on El Gilberto. There's the pin. This could be the chance for the first elimination. And it is! Orange Cassidy gets the first elimination. And now Trent looking to waste little time. Dropping the crunchy on El Mago. There's the second elimination. It's just El Bocho left now. A shin breaker there. Casti now bringing El Bocho back up to his feet on the shoulders. El Bocho fighting back though. Surprisingly enough. Nice Russian leg sweep there by Trent on El Bocho. It's three on one. I mean, you'd imagine it's only going to be a matter of time, isn't it, really, before uh, before they're caught up here. Trent now throwing El Bocho into the ring. Chucky T, there is the eat defeat. But it's not enough for them, is it, really? Neck breaker by Trent now on El Bocho as well. Of course, El Bocho was joint bottom of the rankings before tonight's show. I dare say he's going to go bottom all by his own pretty soon. This will be his fourth loss as he gets hit with the awful waffle. There's the pin by Chucky T. One, two, and Chucky three. There we go, best friends. Pick up the win. No surprises there. And they continue to showcase their tag team dominance here. Of course, your tag team champions, best friends. Uh, lost jobbers get their third loss as a tag team in this universe, which puts them bottom of the tag team rankings. Uh, where are they? El Gilberto gets his second loss. El Mago gets his third loss. And El Bocho gets his fourth loss. There we go. And it's pluses all round then. Orange Cassidy gets his first win in AEW, which puts him back up to a neutral ranking of zero. While Chuck Taylor and Trent both get themselves up to a plus three. Of course, they are your tag team champions. Great victory. Great one. Ch Chucky T is really going... Not Chucky T, sorry. Orange Cassidy is really rocking out here. Not the sort of enthusiasm we're used to seeing from him. Right, main event time. And this is going to be a big one. And here we go, the main event of the evening. We have got Cody versus Kenny Omega. The winner of this one will get a place in the TNT Championship semi-finals alongside Brody Lee. And of course, it continues to stay interesting with Tully Blanchard once again.
joining Cody outside at ring. Yep, I made a, a hash of that sentence. Joining Cody at ringside, not outside at ring. Because that doesn't make any sense. Omega just stamping on the gut and on the chest. Now Cody as well. Deadlifts Cody up. Into a sit-out powerbomb. Lovely. Cody taking Omega up high, but Omega catching Cody with a knee strike, and Cody sends him straight back into the corner. Cody now looking to slam the knees, but Omega fights back into the Tornado DDT. Cody sending Omega off the ropes. Nice back elbow. Omega brings Cody back up. Big chop. But Cody fights back with a chop of his own. A nice right hand and a big uppercut. Cody now dropping his body weight across the knee of Omega. That could be interesting because Omega's knee gives out. Then potentially... He won't be able to hit some big maneuvers like the one wing angel. It takes a lot of body weight, a lot of strength in the legs to be able to, to hold that body weight up as Cody looking for the pin. Omega kicks out. So currently these two, Omega sits on plus four with Cody sitting on plus three in the rankings. Omega taking Cody up. Looking for, oh, the Ibushi bomb. Wow. Wow, indeed. And now Omega lines up. Big V-trigger. Omega is looking super strong here tonight. Taking Cody up and Cody fighting back. Cody says it's a bit too early at this point to try and hit me with the one-wing angel and dumps Omega to the outside. Right hand and a boot in the gut there by Cody as well. Omega with a boot in the gut. Nice overhand there by Cody. Now taking Omega up on the shoulders. Drops him head first across the apron. Cody now bringing Omega back up. Cody sending Omega back into the ring. Referee's count did get high, but both guys back in the ring in time. Omega rolling Cody over, dropping a leg drop. Cody now bringing Omega back up to his feet and takes him down. Wow. Once again with that flat line. And Omega's been busted open at some point in this match. Cody with the pin. And it's only a two count. Cody now stalking the grounded Kenny Omega. Cody now in with a crossroads. There's the pin. One, two, and three. And Cody is going on to face off against Brody Lee in the semi finals of the TNT Championship Tournament. That puts Cody as well up to plus four, which is third in the rankings. Behind only the champion pack and John Moxley. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to actually change now my uh, my match. Because I had Cody and Sean Spears down in a tag team match at Fight for the Fallen. But I feel like we need to concentrate a bit more on Cody's singles run here. Rather than uh, giving... Well, rather than giving... Um, Rather than giving uh, the tag team an opportunity to get the tag team championship pictures, because that's going to get a bit messy. So, yeah, we're going to do Cody 
versus Brody Lee in a few weeks' time. We've got Moxley versus Jericho in the other semi-final. And, of course, the winners of those two matches will go on to face off for the TNT Championship at AEW's Double or Nothing. Nice. Very interesting indeed. Great win by Cody and a great main event here for Dark as well. And we'll be back in a few days' time. Our next show is going to be our fight for the Fallen. It's going to be a sort of longer episode of Dynamite, essentially. It's going to be a pay-per-view, but not a proper pay-per-view. It's more of a house show style. So no big championship matches, but some very interesting matches indeed. Anyway, I'll see you there for it. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.